In Group B, the competition between Zamalek, Caps United and USM Alger is still narrow. Zamalek is leading with four points and the other two teams both have three points each, which makes Friday's three points crucial for the White Knights and the Reds and Blacks. Zamalek and USM Alger cannot afford to share their matches points, more so for the Algerians because they want to keep their qualification hopes high, specifically after they've lost the group's lead to Zamalek, after their match with Caps United. So USM Alger will come here to Egypt aiming to win by all means. The Algerians will fight hard during the match, but so will Zamalek. After losing all hopes to win the Egyptian Premier League or even take second place, it seems that the Portuguese coach Augusto Inácio has settled on the third position. That was apparent in his players' selection during the last few national matches. Zamalek is trying not to lose everything for this poor national season. It desperately needs to keep its third position so it can join the next Confederation Cup. But we've seen Inacio benching the club's strongest players in recent matches, even when it seemed important to win the match and save the third position. This means that he is saving the players' energy for the African title to keep their spirits high. Zamalek has left Cairo, heading to Alexandria. Egypt's Mediterranean coastal city's Borg Al Arab Stadium is where the match will be played, with as little as six southern fans expected to attend. The White Knights coach Inacio promised fans that he'll do all what he can to win all home matches in this round to lift the tension of the team. Zamalek's disappointing Premier League results has made the CAF Champions League their salvation. To please fans, the club must at least reach the final as it did last year. So both teams are extremely eager to win this Friday in what many football fans here hope will be a thrilling match. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.